Hello everybody, I'm Mark and today I'll be discussing why passive income is so important and why every single person watching this video should have at least one to two streams of passive income. Now I know passive income is one of those buzzwords that have been floating around a lot uh, recently over on the internet and sometimes also in the entrepreneurial world uh, because passive income is a very sexy thing, right? You don't do any work and you get free money, basically, free money. Um, that'll be a completely separate video, but I'm just going to be talking about today why passive income is so important and we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So first off, you get to beat inflation. So this is more specifically towards the stock market. Every year in America, the average inflation rate is about 2%. And the average return rate for the S&P 500 is about 7%. Now, this is really, really good for those of you who are um, looking towards having more money than you would be getting out of a savings account. Now, a savings account is always important, but you're not going to be gaining any more money. In fact, you're going to be losing money because of inflation. Therefore, having passive income through at least the stock market would be very beneficial. Next off, we have the freedom of time. Uh, freedom of time is basically just, you have to spend a lot less time working because of your passive income, and you get to work on more of your life passions, which may also include some active income, which is also very good because it can fund more passive income, and you, have, you lead a happier life. Like for example, me, eventually one of these days when I get older, maybe down the line, I'd like to have my own library and just read for as much as I want and stuff like that because I really enjoy, you know, literature. Next off, it, next off, it allows for further financial growth. So what I mean by this is it allows first off for fixed income. So there is an income floor and there's an income ceiling. The income ceiling is the most amount of money that you can make with your skill set. And the income floor is the least amount of money that you can make. Now, obviously, if you're not working, then you're going to be making a income floor of zero dollars. However, if you have passive income, it will allow you to just have a little bit of money that you can make every month or every year, what have you, that is just there. So for example, you invest in the S&P 500 and you get a fixed dividend of, or I'll say fixed dividend of about $100 every quarter. So every year you'll be getting $400 without you putting any extra effort aside from just rebalancing your portfolio, etc. Next off, there is also less stress. By having a fixed income, you're able to focus more on just not being stressed because having, you know, believe it or not, having money just coming in every once in a while is really helpful. It can really make you a lot less stressed. So next off is you can have a great retirement. Now there are non-taxed accounts like the Roth IRAs and 401ks that you can get through your employer. What these allow you to do is have untaxed growth through your, um, for your retirement. What this will allow you to do is basically you would have enough money built up so that you could withdraw it and not be completely stressed out about money and especially i'm not sure if you guys know this taxes takes a lot of money away from you if you can get untaxed growth through your roth iras and your 401ks this can help you a lot for retirement and basically if you work enough it can just make you a millionaire just by waiting i mean it's it's fantastic um next off is diversification of income what this means is that by having passive income streams such as the stock market or YouTube, etc., you will have multiple streams of income, meaning that in case you get laid off of your main job, you'll still have income streams going through and earning you money while you're looking for either new work or doubling down on whatever it is that you already have as passive income, which is really nice. Again, less stress for you. And lastly, I have some examples of passive income streams that you would be able to get. So right off, these are just some of the ideas that I came up with off the top of my head. So 
the stock market, YouTube, affiliate marketing, self-publishing novels or books, the Roth IRA or 401k retirement plans, real estate, CDs, and royalties. So each one of these has a different level of passivity through it. And some of them, you know, do require a bit more active effort towards keeping them afloat. But these are just some ideas. And um, if you're interested in some of them, I recommend researching because passive income is a very, very beneficial thing that can happen to anyone's life. And I think that everyone should have at least one to two streams of passive income.